Today we are here celebrating and uh, recognizing one of the most outstanding educators in our nation with the Milken Educator Award that's given uh, to outstanding, exceptional, extraordinary teachers and uh, that we, we, we want people to know that teachers are crucial. And today we hope that we have been able to impress some of the young minds who are still in school to look at teaching as a profession because it is, um, it is the profession that prepare all, the, all others. So we're excited today and we hope that people recognize how significant it is to have educators uh, recognized. Students often ask me, it's an award, what does the teacher get? I'm going to tell you. The first thing the teacher gets is one big surprise because we have kept this a secret, remember? The second thing, they will get a lot of celebration and recognition as evidenced by the distinguished guest here today, by the media that's here today, but most importantly, by all of you that are here present today. Next, the teacher joins a team of over 2,500 educators from across the country who have received this award in past years. We do have one of the, two of the winners with us today, and I'd like to recognize them. Ms. Susan Couch. <laughs> Ms. Dina McMillan. There's more. The teacher gets an all-expense-paid trip to Los Angeles, California next April. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> to participate in the National Education Forum. And finally, the teacher gets a financial prize. Who can tell me what a financial prize would be? You want to tell me what a financial prize is? Stand, stand up. Turn around. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline. What is a financial prize, Madeline? Money prize. Say that really loud. A money prize. Money. Okay. Financial prize is money. <laughs> Let's see exactly how much money. Just wait. Okay. okay, students, reach down and pick up your cards and let's hold them up. We'll go one at a time. We know that we have some, go ahead, some money, correct? Let's see if... Two dollars, you want some more? Twenty-five dollars? As you can see, as you can see, the recipient of this award receives a financial prize of $25,000. And the person is free to use this money any way he or she chooses to use the money. It's their personal money. <laughs> Students. It is now time to share with you the secret. The newest Milken Educator Award winner, and I would like to invite Deputy Superintendent Ollie Tyler to come forward and make this announcement for us. One lucky educator will receive this prestigious Milken Educator Award, which comes with, as you have seen, $25,000 to do whatever the teacher wishes. The 2010 Milken Educator Award recipient is Mrs. Renee Ward.
just want to thank y'all. You're the best student body that I've ever been able to work with. And I get to go into classrooms and teach all of you, not just my own class anymore as master teacher. So I just want to say thank you to y'all and just keep learning and that we're always growing and learning and um, that's what's going to increase our student achievement at the school. And y'all always do a good job and I just want to congratulate y'all. Y'all y'all need this glory, not me. Y'all need it. Thank y'all. your reaction to winning this award today? Total shock. <laughs> I was just, I couldn't believe they called my name. What does this award mean to you? Um, it means so many things. It means, I mean, that someone actually recognized me for my hard work and dedication and that how, you know, caring about students and teaching students meaningful relationships and developing meaningful relationships with students and trying to, you know, help them to seek their highest potential and actually achieve their goals in life. That is just it's so rewarding educators are so important, so so crucial to what happens in our nation. Uh, without teachers and without educators, uh, we don't um, mold the minds of young people who will be leaders uh, tomorrow to help lead this country. And so educators are really important. Oftentimes they don't get the recognition that they deserve. But the Milken uh, Foundation uh, has decided since, I want to say 1987, that they would do something about that because they know the important role that teachers uh, play in this country.